Oh my god, guys, you have no idea how dumb I feel right now, guys. Oh man, you know what? I'm in the middle of uh, trying to order some searing grates for my grill, my propane grill, right? So I'm doing a little research. Uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm feeling a little lazy to go out there to measure it. So I'm trying to figure out the sizes online. I come across my grill. Uh, this is it right here. Okay. So I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'm reading a little bit more about it. And uh, guess what, guys? And, and take a look. These are the grills I'm trying to buy. Anyway, you know, the first thing is determine the size and determine how many panels we need. Blah blah blah. All that good stuff. Well, guys, I'm so dumb. So the product description here says KitchenAid Outdoor Island. Uh, you know what? Let's get to the bottom here. Blah 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 blah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So it says right here searing up a nice steak over your infrared ceramic side burner while grilling your favorite blah 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 what does that mean searing up a nice steak over your infrared burner okay well all this time guys let's go back up all this time this is what they're talking about right here the side burner all this time that's all i thought it was a side burner i had no idea this thing is is able to sear steaks for me this is what this infrared infrared burner does i mean if you guys knew this just comment how dumb i am because honestly i did not know that i thought it was just for your pots and and cast irons and uh, I don't know warming up tortillas. I don't know what it is. It was for but you know I, I, I saw that thing when I bought it. I was like why would they put an infrared burner here? Why not flame and why do the pots not fit on this on this? Uh, uh, you know on the side there I, I It just never dawned on me that this is for Searing some good steaks guys and leaving some nice beautiful marks. I My god guys. Well, guess what? I, I had already ordered the the panels the other grade the other um, grill grates well you know what oh well I'm gonna have to keep both of them but uh, yeah I feel so dumb guys you know what let's go take a look and see what I'm talking about it's freaking hot out here but take a look at this guys move this crap out here look at this look at this guys this is a searing grate you gotta be freaking kidding me. All this time, I thought this was just a side burner. <laughs> my my grill's a little dirty here. It's time for a cleaning, but I've been using it pretty much every day, guys. But take a look. Never did I say, oh, let me look. Look. Sear burner. On, off. Rear burner. On, off. It's got another one in here, by the way. I guess that's for the rotisserie. But guys, you gotta be kidding me. No wonder the pots wouldn't fit in here. Look at look at the, the you know, this is a lot uh, lower than the top here, so nothing would fit up here. Of course, I can't close it anymore. There we go. Yeah, it's time for this to give this thing a little clean up, but oh well, yeah, guys, you know what? I love my grill, and uh, <laughs> I love it even more now, guys. I just feel so stupid. I can't believe it. I just can't believe that I did not know about that, you know? Um, like I said, I mean, it's no wonder that thing cost me a pretty good penny. Uh, but anyways guys, you know what? I also want to show you guys this this retired charcoal grill I have over here This bad boy right here Look at this. It's got leaves on it This thing folds down as a matter of fact Some way and then I was looking at the grill there, uh, and it's in pretty good condition still. It just needs a little cleanup. And I don't know if any one of you guys had one of these, but 
this thing actually goes down the lid goes all the way down and it becomes another cooking area but since I retired it I threw away the other grill it had four shelves all the way around I threw away that and uh, so far it's just been your decoration here but um, guess what I think I'm gonna bring it back from retirement and uh, <laughs> I mean it's time for some charcoal guys it's time to get serious but anyways guys I, I, I'm still in shock of what I found out today I, just, I, I, I mean I can't imagine all the juices going in that that mesh but I guess it's it's gonna work check this out guys it even has a cleaning pull out thing here that I don't know what you would call that but it's for you to clean any junk that falls in there Oh my god, I can't believe it guys Anyways guys, well again, I just wanted to show you uh, You know what I'm gonna be doing in the next uh, I don't know maybe tonight maybe in the next uh, day or so I'm gonna try that thing out. I don't care uh, You know, I, I'm, I'll be getting the other grades uh, in a few days but I, I Gotta try this guys I mean, this is something that I've always wanted. I've always wanted some nice looking steaks with some good marks. And I had it with me this whole time. I had the capability. And I just didn't take advantage of that. I mean, stupid me. I didn't know. But anyways, guys, uh, I appreciate all the support, all the love I'm getting in this channel. I want you guys to keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking the videos, and why not share them? Uh, there's going to be a lot more cooking ideas, a lot more grilling, and uh, you know what, guys? I want to show you guys something else. Stay tuned. This is my game room, guys, and uh, recently it's been my storage room, but I want to show you guys something. See you in there? See this thing right here? La Caja China. Guess what? It's coming back. It's been stored in here for a few months. And yeah, along with that baby right there, my smoker. It's coming back, guys. It's coming back. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, just wanted to show you what I found out today. And I want you guys to be ready for some uh, good food coming up. Some good steaks. Uh, so be ready for that, guys. Oh, man. I just want to show you guys again how stupid I am. Look at it. It's been there the whole time. You got to be freaking kidding me. I don't even know what to say, guys. I feel stupid but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share that video and uh, we'll see you soon with some good steaks i hope some good grill marks stay tuned you know what guys scratch that i'm gonna go get some steaks right now let's go Alright guys, so actually my phone overheated because I guess I was too close to the fire there and like I told you, it was really hot and uh, so far I'm not really liking it. Uh, I did get some nice sear marks, uh, but you know what, I think it's too hot for, uh, you know, look, at, look at this side and literally this was about a minute, maybe a minute, uh, a minute 20 seconds to be honest with you and it seared it completely and I'm not liking that but uh, like I said the other side was a little better so I'm gonna cut the time down on this one and see what we get maybe I have maybe this is just to make the marks and then bring it over we'll see
what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on here for a few more seconds here. I'm gonna flip it around and then bring the steaks over here and kind of see if I can get some indirect heat. So far, these lines look a lot better, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and flip it around this. Yeah, those are a lot nicer marks, but we're still getting a lot of black uh, sear outside the lines. So far, this is a lot better than the first try, guys. So. A little worried I was gonna uh, ruin my steaks here. So we're going to give it a quarter turn. down the fat that might have helped a little bit you know what I was so excited to put them, put them on here that I, I didn't bother with that I just brought them from the store threw them on the tray all right guys so I'm standing back a little bit because uh, uh, for the second time again my camera overheated and it shits off on me so um, I, I think I was saying that uh, I'm not liking it so far but uh, I'm cutting down the, the time that I leave it on there and then, and then I'm bringing it over to the grill side. Um, let's check on these right here. So I think this one's about ready. I'm going to put it over here on this side. This one's good. And... Bring the third one over here and see what happens. Okay, guys, so uh, I think our zucchinis are about ready. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed on the searing grate here. It's not what I thought it, or what it sounded like it was gonna be close that forget that you know what i'm happy i went ahead and I, I still ordered the other ones i kept them i didn't cancel the order and uh i'm excited for those can't wait to get those i should be getting them sometime next week and you know steaks more steaks are coming yeah. so uh i just don't want to overcook these i don't even know where they're at to be honest with you this searing grate threw me off I mean, it was super hot. I was standing a couple feet away, and my phone, even, even there, my phone was getting hot. Okay, let me go ahead and take these out. Good thing I got these sticks, guys, and these uh, hooks. Man, these things are amazing. It's keeping me out of the fire. It makes them grabbing the meat a lot easier. Like I said, I don't even know where they're at. Take this one out. Shut off my grill and uh, I don't have any lighting today outside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and meet you inside the house. All right guys, so we tried out our searing grate in our KitchenAid grill, uh, something that I discovered today. And actually I'm not satisfied at all. Uh, I thought it was gonna be, it was gonna, it was gonna leave a lot better, nicer looking grill marks. And it's okay but um, no it, it's not gonna work out you know you, you want something presentable this is not gonna cut it guys so uh, I'm happy that I continue with the order or that I actually didn't cancel the order and uh, but we do have some ribeye steak here and um, I mean it's not too bad you know so let's go ahead and give it a shot I don't, uh, like I said, uh, I got lost, uh, 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 
you know, when I was using the infrared grill, I don't even know how it was cooking, if it was burning the meat or whatnot. So I don't know what kind of uh, finish this is gonna have. Uh, but it looks like it's a uh, medium, medium rare, maybe medium. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Mm. Pretty damn good. Look at that, guys. How's that for a last minute ribeye steak? See all the juices there, guys? That's what you call yourself a great steak, guys. Look at that. Wow. Mm. All right, guys. Well, oh, and I have some um, Brussels sprouts with sriracha sauce. The zucchinis. So, excuse me, guys. I'm still chewing. Let me try these, as a matter of fact. Mmm. We cooked this on the skillet. Amazing, guys. Anyways, stay tuned for another video of our actual grill grates that we ordered. They should be coming soon. And hopefully we get some nicer looking marks. But uh, again, thank you for all the love, all the support. Uh, and uh, keep subscribing, keep sharing, and liking the videos. Bye-bye.